This last exercise is called exhale pulsations. Um, it's been around for a long time. It's very similar to Wim Hof, and uh, some people actually call this breath of fire. So all you need, if you want more comfort, you can use a little cushion like this, but you're just gonna be sitting on your heels. Uh, the cushion makes it a lot easier and you can stack them up as well. So you're gonna sit like this, back straight. And for this one, you're only focusing on the exhale, right? So just on the inhale, you just kind of relax and let your diaphragm do the breathing for you. So the exhale, you're trying to slam your belly button into your spine. So that's, that's what you want to picture basically. And you can start at a moderate pace of like, and then start picking up as much as you can. Now you can do this ideally with your nose, but if you feel like you're a little stuffy, it's okay to do this with your mouth as well. And again, just letting the breath come back uh, on the inhale, letting your body breathe by itself. So focusing only on the exhale, doing so forcefully so we can train those muscles that help us exhale. All right, so just here. And the ideal set reps, you can find out what your ideal sets and reps will be on this by doing one to exhaustion, right? So until you feel your muscles literally start cramping, like you should feel like you can't do any more exhales forcefully, then that's gonna be your max, right? So let's say for example, I can do right now 200 in a row. So you're gonna take that number and divide it by four and that's how many sets you should be trying to work on um, these. Now this is like something that I do separately um, on the weekends or you know every three or other days trying to improve my capacity, the strength of my exhales so that I can more easily exhale. And there's um, and the other exercises we're going to do for the inhale but we work these muscles separately um, because they're actual muscles that we're training. You have about 10 pounds of muscles surrounding your lungs to help you inhale and exhale and the stronger they are more efficient you're able to breathe with those. So, so let's say you're able to get to 120. You're going to divide that by three, and you're going to do, excuse me, you're going to divide that by four, and you're going to do four sets of 30 exhale pulsations.